Mr. Speaker, I ask leave of the Parliament to move the third reading forthwith. Is leave granted? Aye. Aye. Leave granted, Mr. Minister. Mr. Speaker, I move that the bill be now read a third time. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank my friend, the Shadow Treasurer, and my best friends on the other side of the House, and to a lesser extent, the Leader of the Opposition, for their very eloquent misdescription of the 2023 budget. If you Google the meaning of the word misdescription, it means inaccurate and misleading. Inaccurate because the shadow treasurer claims to have analyzed the 2023 budget and I found it to be full of errors and absolutely confusing. And I quote, and I quote, he said this afternoon, when one considers that it will cost 13.9 billion to run the entire government system, wrong. It's clearly stated here in the budget that it is 24.5 billion Kina, and I heard so many other speakers say it this afternoon, I don't know how he didn't hear it. I continue to quote, he claims, we only have 5.6 billion Kina available for other things like debt servicing. Wrong again. If you have a look at the budget documents, Mr. Speaker, Debt servicing this year presented to this House is 2.5 billion Kina. He goes on to say we only have 5.6 billion Kina available for new capital investment. Wrong again and again. Our new capital investment is far higher than 5.6 billion. In fact, it's 9.7 billion Kina, and that's double the four billion kina, four and a half billion kina that this government inherited from the other guy. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I say it's misleading. I say it's misleading because the leader of the opposition, and I quote, claimed this afternoon that the Honourable Treasurer has tabled two different sets of budget numbers this week. Mr. Speaker, there is no need to be confused and there are absolutely no discrepancies in the budget this afternoon that we are asking members to endorse. I say that, Mr. Speaker, because as we all know, when we enter this House and we are asked to uh, pass the budget, we are given a copy of three appropriation bills. And they were presented today, Mr. Speaker. There is absolutely no ambiguity. We were presented this week with this document, with this document that clearly spells out three appropriation bills one for the public service, one for the national parliament, and one for the judiciary. We spent many, many days and nights putting this document together, Mr. Speaker. We chose one of the nicest photos we've seen in a budget document in a long time. Mr. Speaker, the numbers here are the numbers that I will ask the House this afternoon to endorse. And if there's any doubt in this House that the numbers are perhaps inaccurate or may be wrong, Mr. Speaker, let there be no doubt because this particular document is supported by a certificate of necessity. A certificate of necessity that was uh, endorsed by our state solicitor. And if there's 
any other doubt, let there be no ambiguity, Mr. Speaker. Let there be no confusion. This certificate was also endorsed by our first legislative council. And I quote, I certify that I have drafted the following bills in accordance with the National Executive Council decision number NG44 of 2022, dated the 15th of November. Finally, Mr. Speaker, finally, Mr. Speaker, I, I want to assure members of this House, I want to assure members of this House that this is a realistic, this is a accurate, and this is a good budget. I say this because a good budget is underpinned by accurate revenue. And the track record of the Marape Russell government in relation to revenue is clear for all to see. It has been commended by many, many commentators, including our international partners. And to conclude this afternoon, Mr. Speaker, so that there is no doubt, our track record on revenue, may I repeat again, in our 2019 uh, budget FBO numbers, we budgeted uh, in our 2019 supplementary budget, we took over in uh, May of that year, we forecast revenue at 13,022 kina. Our FBO final budget outcome numbers for 2019 was 13,680 kina. We were above revenue projections by 658 kina. In 2020, we budgeted, this house budgeted 14,000 or forecast revenue of 14,095 million kina. Then we were hit by the pandemic. You will all recall during this time there was a cut in our revenue of 2.7 billion kina. It ended up being 2.5. And then we argued for a year and two years whether we should cut the budget by 2.5 billion kina or whether we should borrow. It was a big decision for this government. It was a big decision for myself as treasurer. It was a decision that I and I alone could not make. So I put my hands up and I asked for help. I sought the advice of many, many, many commentators, including, including our international partners, including our bilateral partners that have been supporting us for so many, many years. And their advice was clear. Take the borrowing, but don't go for the commercial expensive stuff. Go for good, cheap, reliable financing. Because if we didn't, we would have gone into a recession. We would have lost over 400,000 jobs. Companies would have gone not just into the red, but even today would still be repaying their loans. Mr. Speaker, we then, in 2020, revised our 14,095 revenue forecast to 11,359 million kina. FBO, we came home at 12,093, up 734 million kina. In 2021 budget, Mr. Speaker, we approved a forecast revenue in this House of 12,995 million kina. Our FBO came in at 13,860 million kina. Revenue projections up again, 865 million kina. This year, this year, this House endorsed a revenue projection of 16,190 million kina. Our MAIFO figures, our latest figures that we presented in this House, our revenue was 17,389. Up up 1.1 billion kina. Mr. Speaker, our track record on revenue is second to none. We have been accurate, we have been conservative, 
and we have been reliable. Mr. Speaker, again, I commend this budget to this House. Well done, Thank you. Man.